Hi, my name is R Blank, and I run SYB, where it is my mission to help you shield your body from EMF radiation. And today, I'm here to talk to you about how you can use food to help shield your body. That's right, food. Stick with me now, because this is some good stuff, and it'll hopefully get you thinking in some new ways. As I always say, EMF protection products, like the kind I make here at SYB, they are a second line of defense. The first line of defense against EMF is reducing your exposures in the first place with the two key rules. Minimize your use of EMF tech and maximize the distance between your tech and your body. But it turns out there's more to this story because you can also reduce your risk by boosting your body's resilience. That's right, you can work to make your body more resilient against the damage from EMF exposure at the cellular level. In order to understand how this works, we first need to understand a bit more about how EMF affects the body. A large and growing body of thousands of scientific studies link EMF exposure with negative health effects across many of our body systems. We see damage in the brain, in reproductive organs, in the colon, with our sleep, and many more. What this indicates is that EMF affects our bodies in ways that are common to multiple systems, like DNA, for example. And a lot has been written about how EMF can damage DNA. Another significant way that EMF affects multiple systems in your body on a cellular level is through the activation of something called voltage-gated calcium channels, or VGCCs for short. What are VGCCs? Specific cells in your body have proteins on their outer membrane that open and close to let in certain nutrients. Gateways, in other words. Our cells have these gateways. These VGCCs are responsible for controlling how much calcium is let into our cells. Calcium plays several critical roles inside the cell. So these cells will not be able to function optimally without enough calcium. At the same time, too much calcium can also cause problems. As one example, too much calcium inside the cell can cause excessive levels of oxidative stress, which harms your body's ability to detoxify. Studies like those from Dr. Martin Paul show that EMF exposure can activate the VGCCs and lead to oxidative stress. What kinds of problems can oxidative stress create? Well, it's a pretty wide variety. Many chronic health conditions stem from oxidative stress. These include insomnia, tinnitus, headaches and fatigue, pain and brain fog, anxiety and depression, as well as more serious conditions like neurological issues and heart palpitations. Now, as I said before, the best way to protect against EMF is to reduce or eliminate the exposures in the first place. By minimizing your use of EMF tech and maximizing the distance between your body and the tech when it is in use. And EMF shielding products like those I make and sell here at SYB are also an important part of our defense against damage. Of course, we understand that there will be times where you simply can't avoid nor shield against your exposures. In today's world, it is essentially impossible to eliminate all exposures. So it's important for you to understand how you can also protect your body from the inside out. And one way to do that is by boosting your diet with antioxidant-rich foods. Remember, one of the primary ways that EMF affects your body is through oxidative stress. And antioxidants combat oxidative stress. That means a diet rich with brightly colored, deeply pigmented fruits, vegetables, and herbs. Good choices include blueberries, cherries, rosemary, cinnamon, paprika, green leafy veggies, cocoa, pomegranate, plums, and acai berries. Another option to consider is supplements. Given the high levels of EMF exposure many of us have, adding appropriate supplements to our regimen can be a good idea. In research about EMF exposure and nutrition, there are a few supplements that really stand out. The first is magnesium. Research shows that between 50 to 80 percent of Americans are deficient in magnesium, a mineral that is responsible for over 300 biochemical reactions in the body. Magnesium is also a calcium channel blocker. EMF radiation artificially opens the voltage-gated calcium channels, so taking a magnesium supplement can help to dampen this response. In addition to calcium channel blockers, there are numerous antioxidant supplements on the market. Now keep in mind, this is a short video. It's not even close to a comprehensive guide to EMF and nutrition. Instead, the purpose of this video is to get you thinking about ways your diet can help build up resilience against damage from EMF. 
The unfortunate truth is that we're going to be exposed to electromagnetic fields no matter where we live. Thankfully, nature has provided us with some powerful tools to help mitigate and shield your body against exposures we can't control. So if you're serious about reducing the risk to your health from exposure to EMF radiation, you need to be thinking about your overall health and not just buying EMF protection products. For more information and to get started, please visit shieldyourbody.com slash EMF nutrition.